So there's been a bit of a report going out from organized team activities involving new Minnesota Vikings quarterback, J.J. McCarthy. And the report is this, that a lot of Vikings insiders and a lot of Vikings media are saying that Sam Darnold will be quarterback one. And the next guy up, Jaron Hall, I think, who's battling for a position, will be two. And then McCarthy, let alone three. Now, I understand that they picked McCarthy, okay, to be the 10th pick of the draft and then went after in the first round and got Dallas Turner. I understand that. Many of you forget that rookie quarterbacks take time to develop if you really want to develop them. So it's good to have a veteran presence go right away. And if the veteran presence cannot get the job done, then you look to your second string or you look to the new rookie. But throwing him into the fire would not be the most obvious thing. But obviously there's things that have to be cleaned up. During the week, uh, Sam Darnold was interviewed and said, I don't think OTAs, minicamp, or training camp are going to change very much of anything. So, look... McCarthy does need to start right away. Obviously, they've got a good team in front of them. Robert Tanyan was a very big presence, the new signee um, coming from the Bears to the Vikings, who's played, thank you very much, in all four NFC North teams. The Vikings just want to get the right person in to do the right job. They want to coach the right quarterback. You can groom a J.J. McCarthy. Now, this is just OTAs. It's organized team activities. We're not even to training camp. We're not even to, you know... Preseason week one. This is such an early prediction. And across the board, all rookie quarterbacks are struggling right now. Is that surprising? No. No, it's not. Because they're rookies. That, that, that's just the basis of it. But I think with time, I think you can take J.J. McCarthy and put him into the system that will work for him. And it will work in Minnesota. Now, can they hold on to all their stars on offense? That'll be a good question for the future. Um, But I'm not sure we can look at Minnesota right now and saying that they're throwing all their chips into uh, the pot and saying that we've we've got this made. So for that, obviously start with the veteran presence and see what happens with that. Just give it a process. Give it time. I know Caleb Williams has had a bad uh, OTA as well, seven interceptions. I've sort of read that article. Michael Penix is doing phenomenal. A lot of coaches looking at him. The media is loving him too. Um, kind of brings to the awareness of the Kirk Cousins situation. Um, is Penix going to be the guy to start or is Kirk? I don't think Kirk Cousins has much to say on that issue. But just looking at the Vikings, take time to develop your franchise quarterback. Take time to grow your franchise quarterback. Obviously, He's good at throwing the ball. He's good at moving it around, but he's got to learn the system. He's got to learn the playbook. He's got to learn every which way movement down to a T. So give J.J. McCarthy time. Um, Who knows? Everybody makes a mistake in the draft. You either draft one of the best players or you just draft a bust. I mean, we learn that every single year of the draft. But with time, with good veterans presence, I believe that J.J. McCarthy will help the Vikings get back to the Super Bowl hopes.